Um, injury news. Um, it's been a busy, busy week. So how's the squad looking before Saturday? Yeah, from the injury side, I think um, it looks quite good. So Kyle Dempsey is back in the training uh, since the beginning of the week. Uh, Dwayne Holmes as well. Uh, Hagi was with, uh, with us at the beginning of the week, uh, but we uh, uh, kept him out of the training um, for the last two days and for the next two days. So he probably will come back again on, on the beginning of the next week. Um, Harry Bunn and Lynchy uh, worked gym based yesterday, Pro probably they will be back today on the grass. So uh, I think we will have uh, nearly the same players available like we had on last Tuesday. And Dempsey, is he in contention for this weekend or again maybe a bit too soon? No, this is too soon. Um, we didn't work uh, as much in this week because we recovered for the most time of the week uh, in this uh, week where we have three games in a weekend. Um, so this was a first step for him back to training, light training yesterday, uh, a stronger training uh, on, on Wednesday. But uh, if everything uh, goes well today, then he will not be involved uh, on Saturday, but he will be back on the next week on a, a full training week. And then we will see what happens uh, for the next game. And Lynch and Bun, was that just minor knocks that they've picked up over the last couple of games? Yes, of course, they uh, uh, had a busy time um, behind them. They played all the games, all the minutes. Uh, then they get a small impact on, on, Wednesday, uh, on Tuesday as well. So yesterday they worked uh, gym-based and today they will be with us and then we make a final decision after the game, uh, after the training. Okay. You said that these three games against top, top quality opposition would be a bit of a yardstick, a bit of a measure as to how close Huddersfield Town maybe were towards moving towards maybe a playoff contenders. So, what do you think you've learned about your team from these last couple of games? I think we learned that we um, we have to work on ourselves. I I think we learned that we have to make sure that we close this gap, uh, which isn't there. Um, uh, on the other side, we learned, for example, at home against Sheffield Wednesday. Um, we, we, we can be a competitor against them, but for this we have to make uh, nearly everything right and we are not able to make mistakes. So at the moment in, uh, at, the, at the moment where we are, we have to make everything right, uh, nearly everything right. We, we have to come on our uh, normal performance or we have to overperform to be uh, a real competitor uh, or to be able to, to beat them. But uh, in the last two games, we, we weren't able to come on our uh, highest level. Uh, so we have to uh, try it on Saturday again. And uh, we will try everything to come on our best performance on our highest level um, against um, whole city. And we have to make sure that um, yeah, we make it um, not as easy for them as we made it against Middlesbrough. Um, this was, wasn't a good day from us, we, we, we didn't perform like we normally able to do and I think this has to be the first uh, thing we have to make right on Saturday to, be for, to perform like we are able to perform. Is it a question of self-belief that the players need to believe that they can get results against the, the sides in the top six, top eight? I, I think it isn't only one thing we have to uh, speak about why we uh, didn't win the game uh, on last Tuesday. So uh, on Tuesday we we underperformed on 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 nearly each position uh, position against a very very strong team. Uh, the story of the game uh, wasn't the best one. So we came quite good into the game with a lot of ball position, but then we we lose control. We make some very easy mistakes. We were sloppy in a, a lot of areas of the field and. Uh, then we get a, a goal after penalty and one minute uh, later we get a, a next goal. So um, more or less uh, from this moment it was very difficult to change the game against a strong opponent. So I think we have to um, watch each game for, 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 for themselves and not uh, all of the games against the top teams um, uh, together. So that's an interesting stat and as everybody know it's not my favorite stats. We have to make sure that we correct this uh, on Saturday. And this is our last chance in the season against one of the top six. 
uh, of the league and um, yeah we we like to use our last chance to uh, on one side we have to perform better than we we did on on Tuesday and we have to show the right direction after this uh, um, yeah poor game that we delivered and on the other side um, we we like to have a result uh, that that we can have have in our hand that we can show okay we are able to get points against uh, one of the top teams of the table what do you make of Hull at the moment? They put four past Bristol City, but then were heavily beaten by Derby this week. They're under a lot of pressure as well for automatic promotion. So how do you weigh them up at the moment? What do you think of them? It seems to be that there's not the best uh, uh, part of the season uh, at the moment of Hull City. But uh, as always, for me, Hull City is not the most important uh, thing for me when we prepare us for this game. We have to make sure that we make our things right and that we have to uh, perform better than we uh, did on last Tuesday. This is the most important thing for me that we have to think about ourselves, uh, what we did wrong, uh, why we did it wrong, uh, what we have to change and um, what we have to make uh, that we make sure that we perform like we normally do. Can you exploit the pressure that they're under though, particularly if you, you start well, get an early goal, the fact that they are so desperate to try and make up the gap on the top two? For us mm. in this uh, last game. Now, okay, I think we, we 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 start well in the moment where we are able to keep the ball, where we had a good first touch, where we had a good balance, um, and in the moment where we uh, lost our balance and uh, we were sloppy in our passing, um, we 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 lost the ball too easy. We get counter attacks uh, uh, against Middlesbrough away. This normally shouldn't should not happen. Um, for us uh, and we have to make sure that we uh, save and protect our attacks better against counter attacks especially on Saturday against Hull City uh, I think this was one of the things we've learned from the last two games we, gained, uh, we get a counter attack goal against Sheffield Wednesday uh, short before the end and we get uh, I think five or six counter attacks uh, against Middlesbrough away so uh, we have to uh, come back to the roots. We are Huddersfield Town, so it could not happen that we get uh, counter-attacks against uh, top teams of the table. Normally it has to be the other side around uh, that we counter against the top teams of the table. So this is what we have to make sure. We have to find a better balance, um, protect better our attacks, uh, be, have a better balance against uh, counter-attacks. And on the other side, we uh, stick in our identity and we try to uh, bring them on the pitch. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.